okay so I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now and um, I've been using uh, this IDE code lobster for uh, for a long time now and um, I uh, I like this feature uh, that you have a, um, a debugger which is uh, built in into the uh, into the IDE which is uh, code lobster debugger which is an extension for uh, PHP so whenever you install code lobster um, you, you it, it will uh, come shipped with uh, with its um, uh, debugger and you can see the debugger in your PHP uh, dot ENI or uh, you have a extensions extension manager here as PHP underscore code lobster underscore deb debugger and you have many versions of the uh, PHP okay so you have 5.3 5.5 and y you have even PHP 7 now just have to upload up update my uh, my uh, PHP now uh, I made a test script or file like PHP script uh, round one which will we will be uploading uh, we will be using a JSON file from Yahoo Finance and uh, and we will see it in the debugger and in round two we will be uploading a XML file uh, from uh, this website okay so I'm with uh, uh, this file with this XML file is about one megabyte so it's uh, gonna be a good test to test the debugger capabilities and how deep it can go in, in into the array. So um, we're using X simple XML and uh, just uh, JSON decode here. Okay, so I'm gonna go and uh, run my uh, uh, my uh, test. So I have it in the WW folder. I have a folder called stars and then index.php. So I'm gonna just hit on uh, my debugger is running. So I'm gonna run it, and I have a breakpoint here. I'm gonna give it some time just to load and yeah, okay. So now I know that in my JSON file I have the JSON file, and then the XML file I have the XML. So here is what we have, and as you can see, data will contain the JSON. So I'm going to go to data, list, meta, resources, and we have an array, resources, and I have an object, and then we have strings here. So so far so good that's good okay, we can see all the arrays okay now i'm gonna go to the xml file which is one megabyte okay i'm gonna go to countries and then we have a bunch of countries four say border and you can see we can browse our our array, our simple XML object, and then we can go uh, deep in the uh, in the in the tree. Now let's switch to. Uh, by the way, let me just release the uh, debugger. So, okay. And now let's go back to uh, NetBeans. We have the same script. We are loading a JSON and an XML file. So let me start the debugger. And we have we are using xdebug. So we started this session. And the nice thing that I like about NetBeans here is that you have this uh, garbage collector. When you click on it, uh, it's gonna it's gonna clean your memory here instead of using the whole memory gonna clean up a little bit you know, this feature in Java okay so I'm gonna as, as you can see I have this green arrow started debugging 
and I have my breakpoint here in the line uh, 13 yeah so I'm gonna hit on F5 F5 and I'm waiting for the breakpoint to come to line 13 it's gonna take some time okay here we go and now let's take a look at the debugger down we have data data is for the JSON and the XML for the XML object so data let's go and explore it we have lists list meta type so far it's good it looks good we have a std class fields and we can reach the strings at the end and we can read fine so round one let's say for the json object we have uh, uh, the same uh, let's say they're equal they're known no, no, no one is better than the other let's go to the XML file now which is one megabyte and then uh, let's try to go inside a little bit we have country let's say pick four I picked four I guess in the previous one and then yeah border and as you can see it can't go further now if I click I can't go any further here and even if I click on the garbage collection it's not gonna you can't go deeper so again I am in country right country number four and then I went to border and you can see anything if you go back to cod lobster as you can see from the pre previous session you can see border and we have an array mix a simple XML element and then you can go to the little, uh, deeper in in the array so I just wanted to um, to show like this this uh, debugger which is uh, very easy to set to set up uh, it's uh, the code lobster is a free IDE under Windows uh, it's very easy to set up it's I, I had so much hard time to set up xdebugger and uh, I'm kind of disappointed like because of all the hard work and uh, a lot of work and then at the end it's not as uh, powerful as the other one which is very easy to set to set up okay that concludes this video and if you have any suggestions or am I, if I'm doing something wrong please leave your comments and um, and that's it okay thank you for watching take care bye bye